everyone, welcome to another Average Angler video. I'm in the shed preparing for the match tomorrow. I'm at Acorn on the Winter League. Um, I'm doing okay, so I'm keen to keep, you know, keep the results going. So the first thing I want to do is make sure my maggots are all right. Now, I've took my maggots out of the fridge. They're not bad. I've seen them worse. Sometimes when you take them out, they're sweaty and they're all foaming up and they're horrible. But what I'm about to do with them now, you can do with them in any sort of state. And this is what I'll do to get rid of. If they were sweaty, it stops them from being sweaty. Uh, it, you know, sorts them out, and if they're all full of casters like this, it gets rid of them or dead skins or whatever. Um, what you need is your, obviously your maggots. You need a bucket or a bowl and a riddle, and another another bucket or bowl, which we'll see why in a second. So I always use a free meal riddle, which I think is pinky riddle, even though I'm doing it with maggots. To be honest, for this first bit where I'm gonna sieve off what what the debris that's in the maggots a bigger a bigger riddle might be better and then the smaller riddle is better when you're trying to get rid of the skins so the first thing you're going to do is put i'm going to put this into here and i'm going to keep it moving riddling and all these bits of these are this is ground bait that i've put into the pellets to dry them out previously all that will fall through and that's going to take all that nasty ammonia smell with it and then i'll just give that a riddle until all that's left on there is maggot and then i'll quickly transfer that riddle over onto this bowl and then I'll let the maggots riddle through. And then all that's left on the top will be the dead maggots or casters. So if you've got another riddle, I never use three mil for everything. But if you've got like a ground bait one or a maggot one, you could do this first bit where you're riddling it just to get rid of the loose bits. Because uh, you might get rid of a few bigger loose bits than I will. Um, but it don't really matter because anything that sits on top of the sieve that's not alive ends up sitting on top of the sieve anyway. So... If you if you like me and you just really want to have one thing to do everything, I'll pick the three mil and it works really well for me. This is a ringers one. I'm not. They're all the same. It's just the three mil stainless steel mesh. Don't worry about it. So let me move this into where you can see it a bit better. Hopefully you can see that there. Maggots on. Keep it moving straight away. So then maggots can't get through the riddle. Keep doing that until you can't see any more dust. All that dust and stuff that was in there is all gone now. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving, lift it off, drop it onto that one. Now what? Now in there, look at this, in there. That was empty, that bucket. That's all the sword, that's all the ground bait. This ground bait here is what I put on in, when these maggots have uh, gone all um, sweaty. I've put that ground bait on, so that'll be full of ammonia, that ground bait, and stinking horrible, so that can go in the bin. Um, and I've taken some of that ammonia away, so then what I'll do... What I'm doing now is these maggots will just be left in left in here. I'll give them, it's, it's cold time here, I'll give them 20 minutes. Anything that's not crawled through after 20 minutes is either dead or a caster. Uh, and then I can get discard them. And what I've got left is maggots. And then we'll put a little bit of ground bait in with the maggots. Um, maize flour is better if you've got some. But I ain't got any at the minute, so I'll find ground bait gets me, gets me out of trouble. Here's the, here's the trouble, I've still got a few maggots in. But you see at the bottom here, this is all ammonia as well, where the ground bait stuck to the bottom and got wet. So all that will have to be cleaned out as well before it goes back in that tub. So next time you see me, it'll be 20 minutes, guys. Right, guys, we're back. There we are. You can see there's a few casters on the top. And there's a few maggots that still haven't made it through. And um, what I'm going to do is just chuck them out in the garden and the birds can have them. longer than expected there that was due to the fact that some of them were stuck inside the riddle still but that's fine then all i do then is i nice clean bait tub now and just carefully guide those maggots back into the tub so you're not chucking them all over your shed so now you should have technically i mean there'll still be some little bits and bobs that are stuck to the maggots As clean as they're going to get. There's a little bit of debris. You can see it there. Try not to incorporate that in with them. Wait if I can. And then just to stop them. Grab the first ground bait that comes to hand. That much ground bait would be more than enough for that. For that. I think it's probably... Uh, not quite a point there but for this time of year that'll be more than enough i'll just give it a, you can see it's sort of coating them 
all of a sudden they just they feel nicer they look nicer they're not all sticky and gooey and if anything you've had a little bit of flavor from your ground bait to that if you're worried about such things they'll go back in the fridge now and they'll be ready for me in the morning that's what you do get your maggots fresh obviously if you want to keep them if you're not you if you don't want them live you can show you can uh, put them in a plastic bag and cinch them down that means that you, you end up not they end up not sweating so much but then you've got to get them out every sort of couple of days otherwise they start dying but if you like to keep them up especially in the winter i like to have live ones so just keep them in the in a bait tub in the fridge traditional way which means you're gonna to have to riddle them if you do things the traditional way there you are a little quick video nothing exciting or nothing um, groundbreaking but i'm sure there's people out there that don't know that so that was for you thanks for watching